Right ain't over yet. <laughs> My man. Guys, we are looking at an empty box right here. I had to shoot the opening to this um, after I already took the figure out of the packaging because I accidentally deleted the part of the original opening to this video. So today we're gonna be taking a look at the Justice League movie, 110 scale Aquaman artifact statue by Kota Bukia. Aquaman. So this is based off of the movie Justice League played by Jason Momoa. You guys know I'm already, I've already i reviewed all the other characters. I just need Cyborg and today we're looking at Aquaman and then we can build a live action team for Justice League. So we'll get into the packaging here. So you have the Aquaman logo right there on the side. On the back you have the actual image of the statue and you have the mother box in the background. And then right over here you have the image of Jason Momoa as Aquaman. You got the big window in the front and then you have the window on the top and you got the Justice League insert right there. But uh, yeah, if you guys wanna pick this up, it is up for, I think it's up for pre-order still at BigBadToyStore.com. You can pick up all the other ones as well. Wonder Woman is sold out. She's tougher to get now and she went up in price. So if you didn't get her, you know, and you can still have a chance to get her at a comic book store or something for a decent price, I recommend you guys pick up Wonder Woman. But let's go ahead and get started with the review. accessories go you get the magnetic base this flat black base right here that reads justice league i really like this a lot so you get this right here and then you also get the trident which really isn't a trident but it's a it's a plastic you know weapon so just be careful with it you don't break it because it probably will break but the detailing on this is pretty nice you have the bottom right here and it is painted all in gold and then you have the end right over here so this looks pretty nice now it, it does a little have a little bit of assembly required which is just the top so you just push that in right there but I'm gonna tell you the reason why they made it this way all right so we have Aquaman right here so what you do is you're gonna get this figure right here and you're gonna place the trident you gotta slide it through his hand just be gentle though because it probably will break and then you just close the top off right there all right so here we have Aquaman now again the head sculpt on this does, it doesn't really look like Jason Momoa. I mean, it's not a bad head sculpt, but it doesn't look like the actor. I mean, the, the, the sculpting is great. The blue eyes, the beard, the, you know, the skin tone, the lips, everything about it looks great. It just doesn't look like the actor. You have the long hair with, you know, it has kind of like a, two different colors to it. It's really, really nice. And then you have his armor, which I actually really liked in the movie. I loved the suit that they gave him. So you can see all the cool sculpting and texturing right on there and then you have the belt with the logo and then more detailing going throughout the pants right here and then the boots you can see the cool sculpting on that too and then you turn the figure to the side and you can see kind of like a little bit of uh, almost like scales right there on the side so you got closed fists there's the shoulder pads and then on the back again really really nice sculpting Nice work, man. This is such a nice figure. And then you have the uh, logo on the back of the belt as well. And one thing, again, that I like a lot, these figures stand perfectly fine on their own. You don't need the base, but the base is just a nice touch, and you can see that it is magnetic right there. I really like the head sculpt too, especially the eyebrows. They gave him the little you know, slits in the eyebrows, which looks really cool, but the eyes on him really, really stand out on this figure. And here's the team, guys. This looks absolutely Amazing. I can't wait to get Cyborg out of the packaging so we can take a look at all of them together. But this is a really, really great lineup. If you guys haven't jumped on these figures yet, I highly recommend you pick them up. Uh, again, they're still on sale or for pre-order on BigBadToyStore.com except for Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman is tougher to find now. But if, again, if you guys can find her, I do highly recommend you pick her up. So the team is looking cool. We're just going to get Cyborg next as a review and then you know we'll have the team assembled. But again, Love this set. Kota Bakia is really killing it, guys. Let me know what you guys think about the figures. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys haven't, and we'll see you guys soon.